Hello, physics students. This is Mr. Downing. Let's do a quick introduction to units of measurement. So every kind of measurement, whether it's measuring a distance or a time, we don't just have a distance of 10. We can't say my distance is 10. That doesn't mean anything. We have to attach a unit to it. So our most common unit, our SI unit here in physics, using the metric system, is 10 meters or we'll abbreviate that 10 m. Time, our SI unit, say you might do two, but two what? Two seconds. We'll just use an S. Now, these should be pretty common units. When we get to more um, complicated, not fundamental units, ones that come from formulas. So, for example, speed equals distance over time. This is a formula off of our formula chart. Now, it may not be familiar to you yet. I think everyone knows, to put the numbers in there, we can be like 10 divided by 2 will tell me my speed of 5. But there's units as well, and the units will work out as well. So, yes, the numbers work in the equation, but if we put the units in, so my units of distance are meters. My units of time are seconds. So meters divided by seconds will be meters per second. So this is my unit of speed. So my speed is 5 meters per second. So see how that works out. Meters per second, meters divided by seconds. When I say per, I really mean division. So those will always work out nice like that. Now, if we go to another equation, such as acceleration is the change in velocity over time. Now, I just said that my units of velocity are meters per second, and my units of time are seconds. So I have meters per second per second. So I have second on bottom twice. So another way of writing this would be m over s times s. I think when you look at it this way, you can see that this is really meters per second squared. Don't let that squared confuse you. It's letting you know that the time is coming up more than once. So when you have a number like 4 meters per second squared, this isn't 16. The 4 does not get squared. The units are squared. It's letting you know that this isn't just a change in time for velocity, but keep in mind that your acceleration is delta v over t, but your velocity is a change in distance over time. So if I take this and put it in, my acceleration is really a change in distance over time. So it's how the distance is changing. That's my velocity and how that's changing. So see, time is coming up here twice. So all I did was I took this and I turned it into this because those are the same thing, they're equal. And so that's why my units are like that. So meters per second is always acceleration. I'm sorry, meters per second squared is acceleration. Meters per second is velocity. Meters is a distance. Seconds is a time. These are connected but they are different, okay? They're related to each other. If you memorize these two, you can use a formula chart to find out the rest. This is also useful whenever you're plugging your numbers in, especially after a manipulation. So if you have velocity, distance over time, and you, let's say we're solving for D here. So we have TV equals D. If we want to make sure it works out, let's say the problem gave us 2 seconds times 3 meters per second. That's our distance. And so 2 times 3 is 6. But look, seconds times meters per second, seconds on top, seconds on bottom, those cancel. Yes, the units work just like any other math would work. So that leaves me just with meters. So 6 meters is my distance. So using the units, you can make sure we put the right numbers in, because look, it worked out. Meters is a good distance. Yes, meters do equal distance. So we feel really good about our answer there.